Welcome, fellow TV enthusiasts, to a journey back in time with our special edition of Classic TV Series Trivia. Today, we're diving into the world of timeless television classics, so grab your remote control and prepare for some nostalgia. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all things Classic TV. Let's start off easy. In the Classic Series Friends, which character famously said, How you doing? Was it Ross, Monica, or Joey? Joey Tribbiani, played by Matt LeBlanc, is the character known for the catchphrase, How you doing? in the TV series Friends. On I Love Lucy, what was Lucy Ricardo's maiden name before she married Ricky? Was it Smith, Johnson, or McGillicuddy? Lucy Ricardo's maiden name before marrying Ricky was Lucy McGillicuddy, as revealed in I Love Lucy. Moving on to the next question. In MASH, what does the M stand for in the title? Is it Medicine, Mobile, or MASH? The M stands for Mobile. The series is set in a Mobile Army Surgical Hospital during the Korean War. Moving on. Which classic TV series featured a lovable talking horse named Mr. Ed? Was it The Brady Bunch, Bewitched, or Mr. Ed? Mr. Ed featured the adventures of a talking horse named Mr. Ed, who only spoke to his owner, Wilbur Post. Let's see if you're a Star Trek fan. Who played the iconic role of Captain James T. Kirk in the original Star Trek series? Was it Leonard Nimoy? William Shanter or George Takei? William Shanter portrayed the iconic role of Captain James T. Kirk in the original Star Trek series, which aired in the 1960s. In The Twilight Zone, what famous phrase is often used to introduce each episode? Is it Welcome to the Unknown, Enter the Twilight Zone, or You're Traveling to Another Dimension? The Twilight Zone is famous for its introduction. You're traveling to another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Which classic TV series featured the hilarious escapades of Ralph, Cramden, and Ed Norton? Was it The Honeymooners, Live It to Beaver, or The Monsters? Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton's hilarious escapades were featured in The Honeymooners, a classic sitcom. Who played the iconic role of Mary Richards in the Mary Tyler Moore Show? Was it Betty White, Mary Tyler Moore, or B. Arthur? Mary Tyler Moore played the iconic role of Mary Richards in the Mary Tyler Moore Show, which was groundbreaking for its portrayal of a single working woman. In The Addams Family, what was the name of a disembodied hand that served as the family servant? Was it Lurch, Thing, or Cousin It? Thing is always looking out for Wednesday's best interests and takes an active role in helping her solve the mysteries of a school and throughout the town of Jericho. Which classic TV series featured a time traveling in a blue police box known as the TARDIS? Was it The X-Files, Doctor Who, or Quantum Leap? Doctor Who features a time-traveling doctor who explores time and space in the TARDIS, a blue police box. We are halfway through our challenge. If you are enjoying this quiz and want to see more of it, hit that like and subscribe button to support our channel for more video quizzes. Back to our questions. In the Andy Griffiths show, what was the name of Sheriff Andy, Taylor's son? Was it Opie, Richie, or Bobby? The Andrew Griffiths show Sheriff Andy Taylor's son is named Opie, portrayed by Ron Howard. Who portrayed the iconic character of Samantha Steffens in Bewitched? Was it Agnes Moorhead, Elizabeth Montgomery, or Florence Henderson? Elizabeth Montgomery portrayed Samantha Steffens, the witch with a suburban life in the TV series Bewitched. Who played the iconic role of Hawkeye Pierce in the TV series MASH? Was it Alan Alda, 
Wayne Rogers or Mike Farrell? Alan Alda is the correct answer. He is best known for playing Captain Benjamin Franklin, Hawkeye, Pierce in the CBC wartime sitcom MASH. In Gilligan's Island, which character was known for wearing sailor's hat and had the catchphrase little body? Was it the skipper, Gilligan or the professor? Gilligan, the character known for wearing a sailor's hat, had the catchphrase lit a body on Gilligan's Island. Moving on to the next question. In the monsters, what is the name of the family's pet dragon? Is it a Spot, Fluffy or Sparky? Spot is a large reptilian pet of the monsters characterized for spewing a fiery breath. Which classic TV series depicted the lives of the Ewing family and their old empire in Texas? Was it Dynasty, Dallas, or Falcon Crest? Dallas depicted the lives of the Ewing family and their old empire in Texas, becoming a cultural phenomenon. Moving on to the next one. Who played the iconic role of Archie Bunker in All in the Family? Was it Carol O'Connor, Norman Lear, or Bob Newhart? Carol O'Connor played the iconic role of Archie Bunker in All in the Family. In The Golden Girls, what was the name of the sassy Southern Belle played by Rue McClanahan? Was it Dorothy, Blanche, or Sophia? Blanche Devereaux, played by Rue McClanahan, was the sassy Southern Belle in The Golden Girls. Which classic TV series featured a group of lifeguards patrolling the beaches of California? Was it Baywatch, Charlie's Angels, or Miami Vice? Baywatch featured a group of lifeguards patrolling the beaches of California. In I Dream of Ginny, what was the name of the magical being who lived in a bottle and called Tony Nelson master? Was it Sabrina, Samantha, or Ginny? In I Dream of Ginny, the magical being who lived in a bottle and called Tony Nelson master was Ginny. That concludes our whirlwind tour of classic TV series trivia. How did you fare? Be sure to share your score in the comments below and if you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting challenges like this one. Thanks for joining us on Classic TV Series Trivia. Till next time, keep those TV classics close to your heart and stay tuned for more retro fun.